Good morning. Oh my God, my arms are shaking because I just did a workout. I need to sit down. I'm Kara and welcome back to my channel. I'm a nutritional therapy practitioner and a neurolinguistic programming practitioner I'm trying to help you simplify. <clears throat> oh, I'm trying to help you simplify your nutrition and mindset. Oh my God, do you know what I just realized? I don't have a beverage in this video. We'll fix that though. And there's something that's been on my mind for a long time. And if you're a woman, or a guy, but mainly women, you struggle with this often, and that is bloating. I have struggled with bloating since I was 13. I feel like I've really gotten a grasp on what bloating is and how I can combat bloating, get to the root cause of bloating, and I feel like there's so much advice out there that you never really know what to do because some people say eat fiber and some people say fiber is bad for you when you're bloated. Some people say drink a lot of water. Like what the heck? actually works for bloating. Today I want to share with you what I eat in a day when I feel bloated. I did wake up this morning feeling bloated so I thought that this would be a good video to show you guys what I eat when I'm bloated and I want you guys to know that not everything that I do is going to work for you but you can always try and incorporate bits and pieces of things that I do into your life. I'm still out of breath for my workout and I know this sounds like psycho and crazy but I'm actually going to go work out again at noon. I really didn't do much. I just did some TRX bands but my friend wants me to go work out with her so I'm just going to take it easy and do that but you know what? I need to eat something because it is 11 and I have not eaten and that brings me to tip number one, intermittent fasting. Whenever I feel bloated, I do practice intermittent fasting and I don't do super long fasting windows like 20 hours or 18 hours. I just stick to like a 12 to 14 hour window for intermittent fasting. This kind of helps my digestion regulate itself. If you want me to do a full video on my opinions on intermittent fasting, let me know because I have a lot and they're not all good. I do implement it sometimes in my day to day life. So. It's 11 o'clock, let's break the fast. I think the last time I ate was at like 8 p.m. last night, so I'm on a 14 hour fast. I am feeling less bloated already, and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna eat pre-workout. I don't wanna eat too much before my workout because that is how I get bloated. Okay, all right, let's go eat something. All right guys, I have a Siggy's yogurt, and I just put like a tablespoon to two tablespoons of organic peanut butter on it. Dairy is not something I typically recommend when you are feeling bloated. However, I have been experimenting with incorporating a little bit more into my diet and my stomach has actually felt pretty good with it. Hi, editing Kara here and I thought that I would just let you know that dairy was not a good choice for me that day. I seriously was having like zero reactions to dairy until that day. I got super bloated. Actually, I was, okay, here's what happened. I was fine the whole entire day, right? And then at night, I got super bloated, like right before bed. So just wanna let you know, don't listen to me on that one. Go get a dairy-free yogurt if you're sensitive. And if you're sensitive to dairy, just don't do it. Just don't be like me, don't experiment. Just stick to what you know, okay? Typically before a workout, if you don't wanna be bloated, you don't wanna eat a lot of food. This is just a small little thing. It has 16 grams of protein and for some added fat, I added peanut butter because this has like no fat in it, which normally I would buy full fat. I did have some coffee this morning. Let me show you which one. I've been drinking this King Coffee from, why do I like never remember names? From Organo. And what it is, is it's organic instant coffee mixed with organic reishi mushroom spores. Normally I don't react very well to coffee, but I drink it anyways. This coffee actually makes me like less bloated. If I wake up in the morning and I drink this coffee, I don't feel bloated anymore. And that's because of the reishi mushroom spores. Reishi mushrooms are an adaptogenic mushroom and they have all sorts of health benefits. And I can put some of the health benefits up on the screen here. And if you're interested in this, I put my link below so you can learn more about it. But that's all I've had today. But you best believe after my workout, I'm about to eat more. You will not see me finish this bite because it's truly the grossest bite that I've ever taken in my life. So enjoy this freeze frame. See ya. Workout number two of my Sunday is complete and I'm so hungry. So here's what we're making. Corey and I are splitting this omelet. It's a five egg omelet with chicken sausage, onions, mushrooms, pesto, and some dairy-free cheese, and I'm gonna fold it over. Also made Corey, he's taking a picture right now. A ice latte with 
the black organo coffee which if you're wondering what the difference is between the black and the king the black is just basically the non-organic version of the king and the king uses the reishi mushroom spores while the black uses a different part of the reishi mushroom like actually uses the mushroom not just the spores do you like it oh my gosh that was awesome i'm Ooh. scared doesn't this look so good oh my gosh that's a good angle so as i kind of eat this really quick let me talk about why i'm eating this monstrous portion of eggs and chicken sausage and butter and fat. It's because I find that for my body, what makes me bloated are fiber and carbs. And I know that is so against what traditional nutrition advice says. They say eat more fiber when you're bloated, but I feel like there are two types of bloated people. There is a type of bloated person where carbs and fiber make you more bloated and more constipated and more uncomfortable, or there's a type of person where carbs help you move things along and help you be less bloated. I fall in the camp of carbs and fiber make me more bloated. Whenever I feel like I am bloated, I stick to mainly proteins and fats and I really limit my carbs for the day. I even go like semi carnivore. Corey, you're making a lot of noise. I think that the reason there are two different types of people is everyone has a different digestive tract and everyone's digestive tract has different microbiome and different types of oh, bacteria. So I think the people that can't process carbohydrates and fiber as well don't have the bacteria needed to break down the fiber. Is that good? It's so good. It's got this like did you cook that in butter? Mm -hmm. So this meal is like solid protein and fat. So that's what I do when I'm bloated. If you get bloated and that's something that you haven't tried, just eliminating fiber and only eating protein and fat, I would say give it a shot. You don't have to do that forever. All right, guys. See you in a little bit. All right, I'm back with a beverage. Hey, would you look at that? So I'm going to wrap up the video and give you guys some actionable steps and tips about how to deal with bloating through your food. Everyone's body is gonna be different. Everyone is gonna have a different gut microbiome, different bacteria, different things living inside their digestive tract. So digestion can really vary from person to person, but from working with a bunch of women that deal with these same exact issues, I have seen common threads and common trends. So we talked about this one earlier and number one is to ditch the fiber. People with slow GI motility, meaning food travels from mouth to toilet slowly, don't do well with a lot of fiber. The fiber just bulks up inside of your intestine and it can actually make it harder for peristalsis to move the stool through the intestine. I've witnessed this in my own life and when I did a 30 day carnivore experiment, my bloating was literally not even existent. I didn't find that super sustainable for my normal life though. So I went ahead and incorporated some vegetables but I keep them more low fiber vegetables or low carb vegetables. But when you're really bloated, I would say ditch the fiber like chia seeds, oatmeal, grains, flax seeds, nuts and seeds in general general are very high fiber and can be very irritating to the gut. If you've ever eaten too much peanut butter or too much almond butter, you will understand that you feel gross and heavy and bloated. Opt for things that are higher fat, higher protein. If you're going to be eating vegetables while you're bloated, which you totally still can, make sure they are cooked and not raw. Cooking can actually help break down the cell wall of the vegetable, which the cellulose that make it hard to digest in our intestine and can also break down some of the anti-nutrients. And I didn't used to believe this when the whole book called Plant Paradox, if you haven't heard of it, go check it out. When that book came out, I was like super skeptical, but the more and more that I started to eliminate plants or cook down my plants um, to break down the anti-nutrients and the lectins, the more I discovered that this is true. Also non-food related, ish make sure you're actually chewing your food make sure that you slow down and you take the time to chew at least 20 to 30 chews per bite now this is something that i struggle with to no extent most bloating is caused by undigested or fermented foods 
in the intestine. Most of the time there is a, di a digestive malfunction. Either the stomach does not produce enough acid, the small intestine duodenum does not secrete enough bile enzymes to help digest the food, but it all starts from the mouth. It all starts from the chewing. And if you chew your food correctly, then the body, the intestines, the stomach has enough time to prep to secrete all of the hydrochloric acid in your stomach and the enzymes. Basically what I'm saying is just try chewing your food completely and let me tell me how much like that makes a huge difference. Now if bloating still persists, no matter how much you change your diet, no matter how much you slow down, that means that there's something a little bit deeper other than just the food that you're eating that we need to address. There could be a small int intestinal bacterial overgrowth, just an, an overgrowth of bacteria in general, of yeast, of candida, there could be parasites. I had parasites, I had giardia, so I had chronic bloating all the time. So you see, there's always a next step, a next level but you've got to start somewhere and I think these are fantastic tips. If you are somebody that struggles with chronic bloating or you're just sick of bloating, comment down below. Thank you guys as always for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Please make sure you subscribe to my channel and like this video. If you want to see more things like this, make sure that you let me know and comment down below. And remember if you're interested in the Organo coffee, the reishi coffee that has seriously changed my life ever since I've been starting drinking it. My link is down below if you want to check it out and you can reach out to me over Instagram. It's just my name, Kara Halderman. If you have any questions about anything that you've seen in these videos, thanks for watching you guys and I will see you in the next one.